this is with you. Greetings, everybody. I'm David Avocado Wolf, and I'm with Ramiz Saad. We've worked together on numerous projects related to this incredible substance known as chaga mushroom. And one of the key discoveries that has occurred with chaga mushroom due to this man's research is the incredible amount of alkaline elements that are found in chaga mushroom, cesium, rubidium, potassium, the highest in the world in those, and very high in zinc as well. But the thing that is so fascinating about your research is you keep going. Yeah. No, what happened is like, you know, I want to create my own brand and I want to have it in capsule and all this. That's why to apply for NPN number in Canadian government, you have to get all the peer reviewed article too. Like I did the analysis and I collect peer reviewed article, you know, from the world. I have a file in my garage. I cannot store everything, you know, and at home because my wife will kick me out. Then if she kicked me out, I have to go to David and sleep over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I have data, like, you know, lots of data showing that, that chaga mushroom. Anyway, we were talking about SOD enzyme. Yes, okay. superoxide dismutase, the, the revered super antioxidant enzyme. Correct. Yep. There are three enzymes the body needs. You know, I always like to explain, then people will know the scientific background of everything. You know, three very important, uh, like, enzyme in the human body, which is catalase enzyme. Catalase, yep. Superoxide dismutase. Okay. And glutathione peroxidase. Okay, glutathione peroxidase. We, I think we know all those. Now, catalase, I hear oftentimes for skin health. Exactly. And then... Oh, you are the best ever. <laughs> <laughs> I study this stuff, um, but I'm nowhere near the level. I mean, this man has spent over 43 years in an analytical laboratory researching the contents of our food. And one of his favorite phrases, and it's a phrase we use often, is... The machine never lies. The machine doesn't lie. So he tests products, and it's like, if the substance is in the product, it will show up. If it's not in the product, it's not going to show up. And uh, he's been testing different products, which I do want to get into for a minute. But let's keep going on superoxide dismutase. This is this fascinating. This is a picture of superoxide dismutase. Let's get it. Yeah, let's bring it in here. Okay, can you guys see that? So this is kind of a rendition of what we believe superoxide dismutase really looks like at the molecular level. It's very complex. Correct. Right, and very folded over, isn't it? Correct. And as David Wolf always, like, lecture people, you know, he says... You know, if you go like, and there was high protein, high fat, low, low fat, low protein, low carbohydrate, all this does not matter. In the body, you need the mineral and the vitamin. And that's why when he fasts, you know, and he goes into longevity drink, what he does really, you know, he goes taking all the concentrated minerals and he put it in solution, whatever he's drinking, and then it gives him all the energy he needs it. Okay. That's and basically is... electrolytes, right? Exactly. Yeah, and, and that's what we found, you know, over the years of doing lots of cleanses, lots of fasting. If you drink sea salt in your water, you can just keep going and going and going. You can just go without the calories. Right now we're day three on liquid. So mm -hmm. doing, and by the way, we're over here again, Pharmacia over here, great place in the beaches in Ontario, Toronto, Ontario, right over here, more on the east side of town. Could check out this place if you get a chance. Anyway, let's get back to SOD. Yeah. He talks about the, like sea salt. One day we'll make a video with David Wolf about sea salt and which one is the best sea salt and what's my analysis show. And there is lots is going to come and it's going to really to amaze you, okay? Then superoxide dismutase, as you see here, it needs copper, zinc, nickel, you know, manganese, manganese and, and iron. iron. Those are different kinds or does superoxide dismutase need all of those minerals? Or which exactly it needs all those minerals. Oh yeah. Okay. If you don't have this mineral in a good combination, you you detoxifying is nothing. Wow. Even nickel. Even nickel. Well, interesting. You need the nickel on a balance. You know. Because I hear often about nickel toxicity. It can be toxic. Yeah. But that's why, like you know, because I do hair tissue mineral analysis. He does hair tissue mineral analysis. That's a whole fascinating subject. Yeah. Keep going. This is another yeah, subject. But like I can, we can tell like really what's balanced and what's not balanced. But you know, then if you are low in nickel, we can raise it up. I have tables of food, which I, I tell what's really happening. And as I showed you here, you know. This is, this is just amazing to have Ramiz here with us, sharing with us this incredible information. Cool. This is the periodic table of the elements. So I wanna just show you guys that you may be familiar with our 
mineral theory. This is our mineral theory. And over here on this side, we've got the alkaline elements. We have the noble gases. We have over here the um, halogens. Go ahead. I still remember uh, these halogens. things. Halogens. Oh, yeah. yeah over Good. the years. And the um, earth elements, rare earth elements. and We're going to talk about it today. Oh, cool. oh yeah, fantastic. Yeah. So th tuned. this periodic table of the elements is really a tool for understanding the minerals that we need. For, for healthy nutrition. Correct. I did this one, which is, I call it the ace. I'm coming up with the king and the queen and the jack. And then later on, if God permit, and I have long life, I hope, you know, then I can do 52 cards. Then I have the whole card. Nice. Yeah, okay. Fascinating. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we go back into like, you know, the analysis. We did the superoxide dismutase. So superoxide dismutase, this is the actual research here. I know it's going to be hard to read that yeah. where you are. I'll read you what um, it says. Right here we've got the wild Canadian Shaga capsules that Rami is used to concentrate. So you take the wild material like this, concentrate it down into capsules, so kind of an extract, and you're looking at 192 units of, of superoxide dismutase. Correct. Per what was it? Per capsule. Per capsule. So uh, what is that? How much is that? Is that it's high? Very concentrated. Very concentrated. Very con yeah. And you what does that mean? What does that, what mean, does that for mean when it goes inside your body? Like you know, it diffuse and then it goes with your blood and then it really like do the work of like you know detoxifying the body. Okay, so yeah. it's basically a super detoxifier. Correct. Even though we hear about SOD as a super antioxidant, what its work really is about is detoxification. It's kind of like glutathione. It's like a super assistant to the liver, right? Correct. Correct. Yeah. We can talk about liver and things for uh, for another time, you know. Yeah. But this is another, you have to make sure it's fresh chaga, okay? No toxin or no bacteria, okay? Okay. This is fresh. Yep. And you have to test it too. Okay, so let's see what we've got. So tested with the, this is wild chaga less than 0 0.01 parts per million in organochlorides and organophosphate. So that's what's showing here, right? Is testing for organo, organophosphates and organochlorides. These are residues of pesticides and herbicides that are commonly used today. And what's wonderful about this province, we had talked about this earlier, is that in this province, there's not very much farming, you know, beyond a certain limit. You get past a certain latitude and it's just all wild bush, as they like to say here. Good. And, and that means it's uncontaminated. So the forest there, vast expanses of forest with beautiful specimens of Shaga mushroom and other polypores and other amazing medicinal mushrooms out there are completely uncontaminated. Correct. And really what happened, I found out very interesting on my research, is all chaga is the same, you know? And oh, like a baby chaga is different than an old chaga. Then I tested like a baby one, which is like five years old. Okay, yeah, what, what, the, you, what tell me about that. <laughs> what did you find yeah, out? Yeah, excited, huh? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. This is a different four type of chaga, which is different on, uh, on aging on edge like see this look at the like you know like say for example no this is shows that there was no like Contaminate, yeast right, contamination yeah, yeah. yeah we did that that's yeast uh, contamination yeast is, okay so this yeah, is here is yeah the difference this is it yeah like okay so years. we're getting our paperwork straight over here yeah. okay so in this okay so we got beta glue cans alpha glue cans We've, and, and then testing for other contaminants as well again. But let's talk about the beta glue cans and alpha glue cans. Yeah. With the more mature specimen, do you find more uh, I beta find glue more. cans? That's right. Okay, so yeah. if when it gets to this size and has been on the tree for 20 years, Correct. it's, it's going to be more. Correct. Okay, so it's more nutritious, Correct. basically. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. That makes and, sense. Yeah, and I found out, like, you know, this is uh, the same as we have in the Middle East, like, you know, like a gum arabic. Mm -hmm. The same technique, David. Gum arabic needs a very high temperature of hot. This needs high cold. Yeah, right. Then and all. Where does gum arabic come from? It comes from a tree. From Sudan. It's Sudan. Okay. Yeah. As a matter of fact, this is very interesting. Coca Cola company. He's from Egypt, by yeah. the way. So that's that's. Yeah. In case you're wondering, like, <laughs> where is Remy from? He's well, he's living in Ontario and Toronto here, but originally from Egypt. So yeah. he knows a lot about the Sudan and cool. a lot about the pyramids cool. and a lot about the amazing. I places. want to take you to Egypt and all Egyptian, by the way, say thank you, David. And really, they kept keep sending me like posts from Dubai and from Sudan and Saudi Arabia and we're Egypt. coming. We're coming that way. We we're going to be coming to Dubai and Saudi Arabia, and Egypt. we'll also be coming to Egypt and. We've got a lot of work to do. So one coming. day we hope like we can film on uh, the Giza Plateau. 
Yes. Because David, like, you know, he was talking actually about the Egyptian Giza Plateau yesterday, and uh, one day I want to take him there. It's, we were talking about the casing stones that went on the outside of those pyramids. That's a whole amazing story that it just, oh, it just, oh, they fell off in an earthquake or, you know, we get these silly stories, but it's very, very interesting, the mystery of what actually happened to those casing stones, because we never probably even really knew that they even existed. The ones that went outside, but that's for another story. Yeah. Okay. Here, what this do we have here? This is Bryce Winner. That, okay. So Dr. Warburg, I remember him because he found out that it was anaerobic tissue that was dangerous right Correct. that basically when the cell de-evolves and goes to an anaerobic metabolism then we get into trouble and he also found out this whole connection with alkalinity like super alkalinity cesium the highest in the world right here super alkaline mineral and its ability to destroy cancer cells yeah. and the good things about the chaga does not have the isotope of bad cesium Okay. That's good. To, thank you for bringing yeah, that up. Yeah, yeah. Because we, we've often heard about cesium. People think about it and they go, oh, it's radioactive or something. Correct. But that's the bad isotope. Correct. And Correct. Chaga from the forest here and all over the world really contains the good isotope. The one, the alkaline one, the most alkaline element actually in the world. Correct. And this is my capsule before. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's, that's, I remember yeah, your that, brochure. Right. Let's show, real quick, this yeah. is Ramiz in his lab. Let's show you on the oh, back yeah. here. <laughs> so just so you can show, see, this is the kind of laboratory that Ramiz has been working in for 43 years and uh, in, and he loves it. That's his love and his passion. So it's wonderful to connect with somebody who really has that analytical mind and knows that the machine does not lie and we can get the right data so we know which products are real. Ramiz, again, put a chapter in this book. This is my Chaga King of the Medicinal Mushrooms book and uh, there's an entire chapter. 142. Let the science page, talk. Yeah, here it is. Here, that right there. Science talk and all of this material really appearing for the first time ever in print his scientific research first time ever in print is all in here and uh was wonderful and then pierre Beaumier also Correct. helped yeah me he say hi i really miss pierre fact, yeah i saw him today yeah. a neat guy and so we got all of this really cool analytical data into this book mineral data i'm not sure i, I know it's the light's a little weird today but you can see this analytical mineral data all from ramiz's lab that made it into my book there, Chaga King of the Medicinal Mushrooms. Okay, we just got a few minutes on this broadcast. Yeah, but um, this is very, is going to be, this is going to be really uh, exclusive to you. And this is going to really like, you know, what I'm going to reveal now, nobody had it, nobody will, and I'm going to give it to you. Uh oh, this is big. This is big. This is big. Then let's have another video for this. Okay, we'll do another video for that. So stay tuned. We'll have to do that one, another one. Okay, so I think on this one, we're broadcasting about Chaga Mushroom. See if you can track down Chaga Mushroom wherever you are. Check on my website, davidwolf.com. Check Pharmacia right here in the beaches. If you are in Toronto or the GTA, th th these guys here, Steve Sand and his crew, will ship you this right to your house. Um, you might also in, in the UK, if you're in London or maybe you're in um, Edinburgh or you're in Glasgow or somewhere over there, Manchester, Leeds, you can get your Chaga from Chaga King over there in the UK. And there's many, many interesting distributors of Chaga mushroom all over Europe and all over the world. So seek out the good quality products, but the best product comes from, as Ramiz's testing has proven, comes from Canada. That's right, 100%. Okay, I can guarantee you. Thanks very much, David. And we'll do another video. Wait for this discovery because this is going to be, you'll love this one. Stay okay. tuned for our next video together. Okay, Have you. the best day ever. Thank you.